I'm Cindy Bigelow. I'm president of Bigelow Tea, and I just help try to drive this company forward every day. My gr grandmother really is a lesson in tenacity, uh, a lesson in uh, entrepreneurship. Um, back in that era, uh, it was in the 20s, it was very uncommon for women to start a business. She started her business in 1928, my father was two, uh, and she was an interior designer, and she had beautiful taste, which you could see in some of her packaging that she designed later for Bigelow Tea. When the depression hit, she lost all her customers. My grandfather lost his job. That was not going to knock her down. She really taught me the lesson, and my father taught me the lesson, my mother, of not taking no for an answer. Uh, when you get knocked down, that is okay. Just how are you going to get yourself back up? So she decided that the country really needed a, a, a new concept in tea. The only black tea was available. She creates this tea in her kitchen, sort of a long story. Uh, she gets it, she puts it in the back of her car, she markets it. It doesn't do well initially, what she has to do to get it going and keep it going, what my father had to do to keep it going. They really just taught me, uh, you know, to be a weeble in business. You can get knocked down, you just have to get right back up. You have to believe in what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing is the right thing, and that's what they both taught me. It's amazing, and today, look at us, 1.6 billion bags a year sold to Bigelow Tea and the number one specialty tea company. It really started from that foundation of my grandmother just picking herself up after the depression and saying, I'm going to find a business for me and my family. I'm going to find a good business. And I think she did. <laughs>